Pilgrimage says, am I allowed to ask for the forgiveness of the sins of other people in my personal supplications? If I may, then how should I do so? It is not that you can. It is recommended that when you pray, you should pray for your other believing Muslims, other Muslim brothers and sisters. It's mentioned in several places. And it's further mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Muhammad, chapter number 47, verse number 19. It says, ask for forgiveness for yourself and the believing men and women. That means you ask for yourself for forgiveness as well as forgiveness for the believing men and women. And there's a dua of Nuh alayhi salam, Prophet Noah, in Surah Nuh, chapter number 71, verse number 28, where it says that Noah, peace be upon him, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that forgive me, my parents, and those who enter my house in faith. Forgive me, my parents, and those who enter my house in faith and the believing men and women. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad it's mentioned in hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 3385, that the Prophet Muhammad whenever he used to ask forgiveness for others, first he used to start with himself. That forgive me and then say, forgive my Muslim brothers, sisters, etc. But you have to be careful. You cannot ask forgiveness for the unbelievers, for the mushriks. For Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 113, that it is not befitting for the Prophet and for the believing men and women to ask forgiveness for the pagans who are sourcing partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if they be your kith and kin, for those who you know are surely going to go to the hellfire. But you may ask for other things. You can ask for the health for an unbeliever. You can ask for the wealth for an unbeliever. That's perfectly fine. The best dua you can do for the mushrik, for unbeliever, is the hidayah, which our beloved Prophet Muhammad said. It's mentioned in hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 3681, where the beloved Prophet said that out of the two Umars, may Allah give hidayah to one Umar. And Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah gave him hidayah and he accepted Islam. So you can always ask for hidayah of the unbelievers. That's the best dua you can do for them.